Welcome back to the Gaming Tailgate Podcast. I'm CDJ, joined this evening by Tommy. Tommy, how are you, how are you doing? I'm pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, still waiting for that news to drop, though. Well, I'm waiting, too, and it's one of those, a lot of frustration. Uh, JB is out tonight. He has a very particular set of skills. We sent him after to find who these sources are that started all this madness that erupted last Thursday. Uh, before we get to the discussion of where this news reports all came from, that had everybody looking for news during the title game and even had EA Sports and NCAA 24 trending on Twitter. The big news today is Nick Saban retiring from Alabama. Uh, Grant, we don't know the feature set in EA Sports College football, but do you expect or think there'd be any way they, I know it's very recency bias here, but any way that they mention or honor or do something to him in the game this year i would wonder if there's some way to do like a um, ultimate team card or something like that just to kind of like you said honor him just from a standpoint but yeah i mean other than maybe they asked to license him just because he won all those national championships mm-hmm. and so they can at least use his name in the game for you know the record books mm-hmm. and stuff like that i mean aside from that i'm not sure what more they could really do the only thing that came to mind for me were maybe a couple of trophies or achievements, you know, maybe yeah. win win seven titles or win a title at two different schools or as a number one team beat a, a ranked team and call that one rat poison. That was his big phrase always when you, you know, build them up. So maybe you could win so many games as number one to get the rat poison trophy or achievement. That's to me seems easiest without knowing what the feature set is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, something like that, like you said, just a, a tip of the hat, just to, mm. I mean, he has been college football for the past 10 years, so you pretty much, you know, need to at least kind of acknowledge him. Yeah, when the elephant leaves the room, you kind of got to gotta say yeah, something. Yeah. On the last show, we thought, you know, last Thursday, JB and I were on and we talked and we, the news that came up in 27, 24-7 sports saying that sources had said we were going to get likely to get something. Sources were saying EA was going to drop something during that title game. Uh, uh, Brandon Marcello had said that on Monday during the title game. The publisher is expected to release an official update on development and potentially new images of the franchise sources told 24-7 Sports. A lot of outlets, including us, ran with that because we felt 24-7 Sports was pretty legit and had the keyword in their sources. Uh, typically, they say any good journalist has a couple sources, so I took that to mean, I think virtually everybody took that to mean that it had been confirmed with maybe a couple of people inside EA or maybe with whoever was going to release the news or screenshots or images. From there, things really went wild. I'm sure you saw it, Tommy, on social media. People were just running with it, and it seemed like it amplified. It went from update and screenshots, which is what we've been getting through ESPN.com over the last three years, change to release date, change to trailer, change to first look. And some of that kind of irresponsibly from people. I think it seemed like a lot of people who wanted to clickbait. So I know on Instagram, I saw a lot of accounts and Twitter and Facebook, people saying release date with no zero source. They weren't referencing the 24-7 sports report. They were just saying it on their own, and it got massively amplified uh, so i think it's one of those that people wrote on the coattails of the now incorrect 24 7 sports report and used it to build their own cachet and to build their own following and it looks like it worked unfortunately for the community's sake yeah i mean it's unfortunately this day and age all forms of media from social media to even true media outlets they they you know live on clickbait and mm-hmm. You know, if you're a small time outlet, then this is an easy way to get at least a handful of handful of followers to to join you. So, I mean, uh, obviously, we had kind of speculated months leading up to it, but uh, mm. we also didn't have any sources and we didn't have any confirmation that said, right. yes, it was going to happen other than, you know, sharing what we heard from 24 seven sports mm. and Matt Brown and, and others like that, that mm. again, speculated. See, Matt Brown during the year had been reporting in some of his articles in his newsletter that he had heard that information may come by the end of the season. Uh, I went back and looked. In late September, he shared that he had, and I'm quoting here, heard rumblings that there was the possibility that EA might release some screenshots or share more behind-the-scenes development updates in September, perhaps bringing in a few football players to the studios and sharing information about motion capture and stuff. So I thought it was interesting that way back in September, he was hearing that, or at least reporting hearing that. Uh, In November... He wrote in his newsletter ad in a quote here, I did ask if EA was planning on making any announcements or commercials this season, perhaps around the college football championship game or something. I'm told this is possible. He puts quotes on the word possible, which is the kind of answer that I think anybody can read into however they want. So it seemed like there were chances for EA to shoot this down. I mean, provided that all the sourcing is correct, which is a big if right now, uh, there was a chance to shoot this down and it never really happened. I think that it festered. And students 24-7 put out their report, and they 
at that night, Brandon Marcello really didn't walk that back. He said, I, you know, I stand by my reporting. Uh, I think there was even some jokes that, well, people didn't read it correctly. Well, it was pretty darn clear what he said. I read it. Yes, he did not say release date or trailer, but he did say update and screenshots. Uh, and we didn't get anything of the sort. Still on that Thursday, Matt Brown tweeted out that he'd heard a lot of pushback from EA land about anything big happening on Monday. I think fans should keep expectations very low on any immediate official communication, like nobody should expect an outright trailer. And as Monday it seemed like it, as the day went on, I know we last week on the show, we kind of felt that, you know, at best, we're probably going to get another ESPN blog and some screenshots. Well, uh, in my personal opinion, once we hit noon, I kind of felt like nothing's going to happen here because they're not going to pay for a big trailer during the game, nor should they. I think that's just right. such a minimal return on investment. It's so expensive. It's not worth it. And that evening, a Pete Nichols up on three, he tweeted out he was hearing that, that fans should not expect a release date or much of anything for that matter. So that really... Uh, to me, pretty much confirmed nothing was going to happen. But still, things were blowing up, as we mentioned earlier, on Twitter, NCA 24 and EA Sports were both trending as people expected the game news. And I know since then, I've seen uh, numerous outlets, College Football Media, legit putting out there, what happened to that announcement? So people thought something was coming, and we never got it. I think, I mean, me included, I, I held out hope at least all the way through, you know, halftime. You know, once the end of halftime happened and nothing dropped, mm -hmm. Then at that point, it was obviously a given. Number one, it was too late in the night. And number two, they missed their window at that point. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I had expectations that they would at least acknowledge it. I mean, it's the biggest night of college football mm -hmm. uh, for this past season. Acknowledge it somehow. You know, right. it doesn't have to be big. doesn't have to be a trailer. doesn't have to be a release date. doesn't have to be free copies or anything like that. Just some way to say, hey, we're still here. We know this is a big night. And we're still coming around. We'll see you in six months or, or whatever. You know, mm -hmm. uh, they could have even called back to. Granted, it's an inside joke, but they could have called back to the old heartbeat. Uh, and it was eight years ago, yeah. Twitter, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and just to Type give together. something to say, hey, we're still alive. It's unique. The game's been in development for at least three years that we know of. So I'm going to assume at least probably closer to four. And in that time, it has shared three screenshots all at one time back on November 22nd of 22. So to as we record this, and granted things could change in a matter of minutes, you never know. But in the last 14 months, there's been no official update or word from EA. I know they've a couple other similar employees have been a little frustrated that people keep, you know, stories keep coming out, uh, clickbait probably, that the game's going to be delayed or canceled. But at the same time, it's not often that a game goes 14 months with no communication where there's no issues. Uh, do I think there's an issue with college football? No. But I certainly understand where a lot of the fans are beginning to wonder and question when we're not hearing much lately. For sure. I mean, again, like you said, it's a com been a complete blackout from their official media mm -hmm. channels for 14 months. Mm -hmm. You know, I, again, I'm not expecting a, a big drop, but, you know, no. just just something, you know, just something to say, hey, we're still here. And uh, literally their Twitter account has not posted or replied to anything since November 2022. And it gets and even even better if you look at their Instagram or their, their Facebook, they didn't even put up those November 22nd and 22 screenshots. So they have done nothing since February 2nd of 21. So if that's a lone place and you look for your information, as far as you know, they haven't said anything in three years. Now, Grant, I think most yeah. people go through a lot of social media, so they're not ignorant of the November 22 drop. But still, if you just go to one site, you're not seeing anything for three years. And again... I will give EA a little bit of credit here in a minute, but at the same time, that was the biggest opportunity just to say, hey, we're still alive. Again, mm. I'm not expecting the world, but just to say that they're still alive. You know, I, I thought maybe, you know, as the day went on, like maybe we'll get just a picture of the trophy in game, the championship trophy. Yeah. If nothing, I mean, if nothing that... else or a, an ESPN blog or something. And I understand why they didn't. And I feel, I, I do say they got a lot of abuse that night and it wasn't their fault because they didn't say anything. They didn't tease anything was coming. I suppose you could argue they didn't also shoot it down directly, but at the same time, they, they didn't, they weren't the ones who teased it. Uh, and it was interesting that as the game progressed, fans went to like on the, their Twitter page and Instagram page and were voicing their displeasure. Some of it swear words or accusing the company of lying. Uh, so that on the Twitter account, they went and hid some of those those replies. They're hidden replies. If you go back to some of the earlier tweets about the game, those comments are gone. 
So somebody was uh, working that night, checking out. Somebody was managing. Yeah. I, yeah. They must have had loaders on their phone and all of a sudden they probably saw a bunch of insults. So they thought we better hide those replies, which I don't blame them. Uh, but it was interesting that they certainly were around for that. The, the only little bit of grace that I'll give them in, in all of this is, like you said, they have not communicated anything and said, hey, watch for this news or anything like that. They, they should have. I still think they should have announced something just like you said, a single mm -hmm. screenshot of the trophy or or something, you know, mm -hmm. just something. But again, they didn't say that they were going to announce anything. And then as well, they as a company can't sit there and dispute every single leak That's, or rumor or suggestion because then every time you have mm -hmm. an, you know a small some small company announce a a leak or a rumor then they if they don't shoot it down oh mm. it must be true or something like that right. but to me you know I, I can understand them not coming out and saying oh this is not true but again they missed the boat on on being able to tie into the national championship do you think it's, i agree with you because every you know every year a sports title like madden for example fans are optimistic for a commercial to drop during the super bowl and they don't always get it or say nba 2k during the nba finals to me this was different because 24 7 you know, I believe it's a pretty legitimate website. It wasn't, yeah. it, this wasn't just the Instagram people or a lot of the people are saying a random YouTuber started this. No, I think it was 24 seven who dropped the, you know, the, the rock in the river. And after that, that's when people realized they could run with clickbait because there was really some, something they perceived as halfway legit out there. I agree with you. They, they can't justify a run after every leak and dispute it. But I think this was the one time since it was a legit website, maybe you say something, maybe you put out a, a I don't want to say a meeting the screen, but a screen of like the trophy, for example. And you say, hey, we'll be back with more news this spring. So that, that basically buys you several weeks, if not months, till we get into the spring. And nobody's going to fall for the rumors for a while. Or shouldn't fall for the rumors for a while. But it seems yeah, like they I just, mean, somebody's they just always going to fall for it. Right. Yeah. So I mean, that's what I thought. With being 24-7, that maybe they should have. But I understand why they did not as well. And I, I'm curious, 24-7, again, like you said, they said sources. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're considering Matt Brown suggesting it a few months ago as their source, you know, that kind of right, thing. So, right. I mean, that's the thing. It's it's it's, it's kind of like uh, the, the running joke is ESPN starts their own news cycle to where uh, a, a analyst will say something in the morning and by the afternoon, it's the biggest news story in the day when they've created the news in themselves. In this case, it's just one writer repeating what a ride another writer suggested obviously i don't know that that's what happened i don't know who 24 7 mm -hmm. sources are mm -hmm. but you know i could see something like that happen that hey somebody said it's going to happen so let's write an article about it do you think that if, if matt brown's talking to people and he's intimated several times that he does have direct sources down there of some sort whether i don't know if that's communications i don't know if that's development i, I have no clue on which side do you think that there's maybe a push internally they would like to see stuff come out just I know it's a hypothetical, but if I'm a developer working on a game for three plus years and I see that people are clamoring for crumbs online, do you think internally they might there might be a desire for it? But marketing communications says no, we're sticking to our plan. We're not releasing anything early. Yeah, I mean, like you said, if I were working on the game, mm -hmm. I would want to have my work out there as long as it's mm -hmm. a legitimate. You know, obviously this time of year, they're still making changes. They're still updating, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in times past when we've been down there and the lighting has been completely broken. It's not like the game is final and that they're just holding on to it or anything like that. So they're still making changes to lighting and everything like that. So as long as they could produce a a good, clean screenshot, not a video, just a screenshot, right. then, yeah, I would want to be able to release something. Uh, and, and like you said, to me, it's marketing Marketing always, in my opinion, always has a bigger brain than everybody else, or at least they think they do, to where it has to happen on this set schedule. And if it doesn't, then then mm. there, there's no sense in marketing or something like that. <laughs> this was a perfect marketing opportunity. I don't have mm. a marketing degree. I've never taken a marketing course, but I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the game. I'm a, I'm a fan of college football. So, mm. you know, I, I, it's completely a missed opportunity. Now... All of that said, six months from now, when the game releases, nobody's going to remember this and say, oh, well, I'm not going to buy the game because they didn't right. release a, a screenshot or something like that. So, I mean, on one hand, EA is not hurt by this other than oh. there some chinks in their armor for a few days or something like that. But in mm -hmm. six months, everybody who's trashing the game today is going to be turning around and, and clamoring to buy the game. They know so. we'll fall in line.
So I suppose they realized they didn't have to overreact or move too quickly here to stop the rumor. Exactly. But I do think there'll be some people who might remember or incorrectly think EA promised something. Because I I did see yeah, but, that, but I mean those people yeah. I think will still buy the game. And and more, maybe some of those are are some of the younger people who are interested in the game and haven't gone. You know, the game hasn't been released for ten years, so they're not used to the media cycle of of you know as you you and JP talked last uh, podcast. You know, the media cycle really starts in April. Mm-hmm. Now, this one being that they haven't released the game in ten years, to me, you kind of should at least start trickling stuff out before April. Right, treat it differently than it just just another. It's not another year. Don't treat it like just another year. This is exactly. I think I know. I had the hopes. I mean, nothing to base it on, but I thought it would be a little different how they handled things. And when they had the November twenty two screenshots, I thought, okay, well, maybe then you know we get to next season, we'll get more throughout the year. And now we went through this entire season, the twenty three season, and we had nothing. Yeah, that, exactly. that's. I, th- I think all people thought they would treat it differently for ten years, and they as to date they have not. But that obviously that could change. The only reason I could see a legitimate argument is if their license agreement with the schools says that they can't start using those schools for marketing purposes until X date, April first, right. or right. or something like that. That's the only reason I could see something like that. Mm-hmm. They had a maybe a special agreement with Ohio State and Michigan back in November 2022. Mm. And so they were able to release some screenshots then. But then since then, you know, they don't have a true marketing agreement with those schools mm-hmm. un- until X date. And that's, that's, again, that's just speculation. But, you know, that's a possibility I could kind of give them a little bit of a break there. Make sure you say speculation. I don't want people running with our comments and <laughs> making clickbait posts anymore. My, my sources, <laughs> my sources have said no. We could we could Again, use thirty thousand likes and shares. I mean, that's what yeah, I saw. Some yeah, some yeah. of the spam ones that were clickbait, like on Instagram, for example, you know, we're getting tens of thousands of likes and shares. And I thought we try to do things the right way, and you yeah. know, uh, gaining traction, but obviously nothing like clickbait. As I say, we want the traffic, but we want it legitimately and uh, right. organically. We don't want to sit there and just, you know, kind of try to fool everybody. When should fans expect something? I know JB and I kind of talked about this last week, but I did a little extra homework to find out when the first screenshots came out for the title. And you'd be surprised how tough it was with Google. I thought it would be relatively easy to find some of the older years, and it really wasn't. Uh, the earliest I could go back, and some of these dates are might be off a week or two, but I feel pretty confident these dates are accurate. Let's go back to NCAA football 08. March 2nd, 09, it was April 3rd, 10, February 13th, the 11th, February 26th, the t- NCAA 12, March 14th, NCAA 13, April 2nd, NCAA 14, April 2nd. Now, I think uh, even the ones that came out in February, like you said, I think a lot of the big news and information didn't start till April. Uh, so I, Matt Brown did mention a while back that he had heard February, March into the spring. So maybe that ties into some of that. Maybe February, March, we do get a screenshot, but really the news doesn't come till April. But at this rate, with the way uh, Airbase sources have failed to pan out, uh, I think I'm just going to assume April. And if it's any earlier than that, then I'll be pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. That's that's you know the safe way. Again, it's not like they're it's not going to change how the game is released. If they release a screenshot in March, it's not going to change how the game plays in July. So right. again, at the end of the day, yes, everybody wants information and, and everybody wants to kind of hear some news, see a trailer, get a screenshot, a release date, all of that. But at the end of the day, the game's still going to drop probably in July. Uh, it's still going to have all the same features today, tomorrow, and six months from now. It's it's hard to be patient in this day and age of mm-hmm. you know social media and, and everybody wants it now, but mm-hmm. Again, at the end of the day, it, it's not going to change your life if they drop news today or tomorrow. I think part of it is like you said the, in the social media age, but also with there's so many leaks from movies and TV shows and even video games as well that I think people wanted to think there was some legitimacy to these. And when 24 7 gave it, that seemed to be the most legit. But then we found out that's not the case. So I, I, I think I know I'm, I'm, I'm at the point now where maybe April, but who knows? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, Right now, like you said, expect it in April, but if we get something earlier, we'll report it, we'll share it, and we'll be excited to hear about it. But at the same time, it's it, there's no sense in getting worked up, worked up over it between now and April, I would say. Yeah. 
And I think you could always say that even though the fans are disappointed, I think EA could probably view it as it shows how much excitement there is and desire to want to learn more. That after information failed to come out, there were articles on some pretty big websites talking about the fans who were upset and tweeting during the game saying, where is my trailer? Where's my release date? Uh, some of the places where I saw it just on a quick Google News search, Fox News, Saturday Down South, USA Today, awful announcing. And, and Tommy, did you say you saw something on CNN as well? It seems like a lot of big sites devoted some coverage to this, highlighting the people, the disappointment, the demand. Yeah, I mean, again, it's a niche article. You know, you're mm -hmm. not going to have, it's not going to be the front page of the USA Today, right. but at the same time, they're going to put something mm -hmm. out there. Uh, the CNN was actually before the mm -hmm. national championship game. They were saying that they expected to hear something. And I don't remember if they said sources or if they were just referring to the 24-7. I can't remember exactly. But yeah, like you said, it, it, there are big media outlets that are covering it. I mean, that speaks volumes of how excited people are. So I'll be curious to see if any of that traffic kind of continues as as the game starts to, you know, actually release mm -hmm. official information and everything. Everybody loves to write an article that kind of has a negative spin on it. So this was, you know, a good chance to get some extra clicks and say, yeah, I'm, I'm upset too, you know, that kind of thing. Right. So it basically puts its community in a pickle where we don't know what's coming or when. In the meantime, I would see if something legit emerges, we'll cover it and bring it here. In the meantime, I think for a future show, Tommy, and then maybe I'll give you a chance to lead off the discussion. I think a good topic for a future show is what from the bowl season do people want to see in the game? Pop-Tarts. It's not the number one thing. I mean, that's the thing I really <laughs> want. There's so many casuals. I think they've I, – I know when we put this out there for the community to – give their feedback and they can give it in the comments or replies here. I think that's got to be the number one thing people are going to ask for from bowl season is put the pop tart in the game. Absolutely. Absolutely. That to me, you know, going into the toaster and then coming out and eating the, the, the mascot. I mean, if they could somehow work that in, then a, it's a lot of effort for one single game. Right. And especially if pop tarts stopped promoting the bowl themselves or, or mm -hmm. supporting the bowl themselves or whatever. But at the same time, you got to kind of catch in on that. If they could do that this year, that would be huge. If they do it next year, I don't think it would be mm -hmm. as big of a, of a, as a win for them. But at the same time, it, it's fun this year, mm -hmm. you know, cash in on some of that fun. See, Matt Brown did have a, something. I don't know if he talked to somebody at EA or of his own speculation that they're hesitant to put in the, bowl mascots because the sponsors change so much uh but i would counter with and i don't know how the legalese of this would work you have to assume mascot mashup will be in the game sooner than later is it possible to get rights to those mascots that even if the bowls change sponsorships change the mascot exists in there for historical sake for example i can't think that if just for a hypothetical if russell athletic took back over the pop tarts bowl that they would say get that dang pop tart out of the game as long as he's not appearing in the game you know, and he's somewhere else, like mascot mashup. I, I don't see what the harm would be. Uh, maybe I'm wrong on that. I'm not a lawyer. I don't know the licensing or trademark issue. Uh, but I would think as a fan, it's probably better to get more rights to things than fewer uh, as we get ahead towards the game. And to me, what would be great is if in the mascot mashup before, mm -hmm. it was always just one character versus another mm -hmm. character. If you could have a team of characters like the yes. ACC versus, you know, the Big 12 or something like that, that to me, that'd be even more fun. And then you could have the bowl teams versus, you know, yes. whoever else, you know, uh, I agree to me, have fun with it. In this day and age, I, I would think they could scan those <laughs> mascots pretty easily. So, you know, bring it in and, and have fun with it. We know they're going to add something fun and silly as they as they should. It's a video game, and I think you always got to remember what the F word is, fun. Is the game fun? That should be the first thing you always ask, no matter what comes out or when we play it. So I think it's one of those things, adding the Pop-Tart in or the Pop-Tart Bowl. Is it silly? Yes. Is it fun? Yes. Is it something the community probably would rally around? Yes. And I, there's a lot of sillier things that people may not like they could add, so I think this would be the easier win of almost anything silly they could add in. And the first person who gets a video of that on YouTube is going to get, you know, 100,000 oh. views very quickly. You know. uh, they will be the ultimate king of clickbait. Legit clickbait, exactly. but still. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Whoever gets exactly. the first look at that, you're right. For Tommy, I'm CDJ, and hopefully JB will join us on the next episode of the Gaming Tailgate Podcast. Everyone, thank you for watching and listening.